And last year was a record-breaking year for real estate sales and new construction in Sioux Falls. But in this week's market outlook, Benner Commercial Real Estate is predicting a slowdown in 2023. Kellerland's Bridget Bennett breaks down their data in tonight's Your Money Matters. We have to talk about inflation. It's a topic that fueled a lot of this year's market outlook. Well, it impacts everything. Uh, any, anybody that's borrowing money, which is probably you know 95% plus of, of our transactions. It's why Bender Commercial is predicting a slowdown in real estate deals this year. It's not a doom and gloom prediction. It's just an interest rate, you know, simple math. For example, interest rates were roughly 3% in January of last year. And now in a commercial transaction, it'd be about six and a quarter. But while the world of commercial real estate may be slowing down. That's OK. We've been running really, really hard for the last two or three years, especially in Sioux Falls. I would look for this year to be more of a normal year, but still really strong. Historically speaking, the city of Sioux Falls is still in a period of growth. We feel pretty good in South Dakota. We still have a very robust business uh, environment here and it doesn't feel the same in New York. The market outlook highlighted that the number of W-2 employees coming to the state increased by nearly 4% last year, a big win in the nationwide competition for employees. Right now there are 10 million job openings in the United States. There are 5 million unemployed people. But while the South Dakota economy may be going strong, Bender expects investors to continue a cautious approach in 2023. In our office alone, we had 520 acres that were under contract and had a closing date for 2022. And those developers decided it wasn't, it wasn't the time to move forward with those and cancel the deal. Well, now to take a closer look at the numbers and other areas, you can find the full Bender Market Report online.